Hey guys, it's uh, Ken here, Unsighted ADV. Uh, I've been making videos on YouTube for just about eight years now. Um, and as any of you who've been a current subscriber of mine would know, I haven't really made a lot of videos in the last four years. Um, life gets busy, you know, things kind of come and go. Uh, I never kind of stopped riding, but uh, you know, I was running a one man show uh, with my one camera. I had a GoPro Hero 3 at the time that uh, started to look a little bit dated. And it just kind of fell by the wayside and I kind of I kind of stopped uh, kind of growing the channel. I stopped making new content and uh, I kind of just stuck to doing my uh, my riding and that was about it. But uh, a little while ago, um, I got uh, in touch with my, uh, my buddy Trevor here. Uh, we went to high school together back in the day. Um, we never were really that close to each other, but uh, kind of through social media over the years, uh, we kind of figured out that we both uh, have a bit of a love of riding. Mm -hmm. Uh, Trevor, why don't you tell us, uh, when did you start riding? How did you get into it? Uh, I started riding six years ago. Started off on a uh, sport bike and uh, had some fun on that, but then kind of, I've always had like a passion for the outdoors and that's kind of where the outdoors or the off-road kind of side of things came to play. So started off with the ZX6R and then moved to a uh, the old KLR. Uh, KLR. Yeah. <laughs> It served me well. Went on some good trips. Did like, uh, where'd you go with it? Um, the big trip was like down to Utah and then over to Los Angeles, which is about like a 6,000 kilometer loop from, from here. So mm -hmm. a lot of buzzing, but, uh, a little vibey on the freeway, little vibe yeah. on the freeway but, uh, yeah. And then, um, I rode Ken 690 and did a little research and then ended up kind of picking the same bike. So we're both on 690s now, um, which is, Good in there. Yeah, I'm still I'm still on the same bike I was before. I got my uh, 2012 uh, Rally Raid uh, 690, which has been a great bike for me. It's actually been one of the best KTM products I've owned. I had a lot of problems with my 950. Uh, Trevor picked up a beauty of a 690. You'll see here uh, to your right. Uh, why don't you tell us about that beast there? Where'd that thing come from? So this is a well-used motorcycle. Um, this bike has I got a good deal. He did get a bit a of a gamble. He did get a good deal. Why is it a gamble though? Because it has high kilometers uh, to the tune of 70,000. 70,000 KTM kilometers. <laughs> <laughs> but the backstory is that it's uh, the guy wrote it down to the tip of South America and wrote it back to Colombia. So he put basically all of the kilometers on it. I put like 5,000 kilometers on it. But you know what? The thing runs great. It does. It, actually, it really does run great. Like getting to jump off between my bike is still relatively fresh. It's got maybe 20,000 K at this point. Yeah. Um, and honestly jumping between the two of them, you, you almost wouldn't even tell when like it, uh, it rides real nice. It's got a lot of really good extras on it that it came with. Yeah. So that's the benefit of getting like a used thing. Like I've got this similar setup to Ken with the wings, exhaust links, fairing. Um, it's got, uh, Tighter spring in the back for a little bit bigger guys like ourselves, which works out well. Uh, seat concept seats, pneu racks. I've got a safari tank that I don't have on right now. Um, I think that's about it for mods, actually. It's a great machine. So yeah, what uh, we're really hoping to do, and, Tre and Trevor is the one who really kind of got me interested in doing this again, right? Because he, you know, watching watching some content on YouTube and talking about it, mm -hmm. and. Uh, we're really excited to kind of up the production value of my channel. You can look at some of my older stuff. I mean, I was using Windows Movie Maker on this junky PC I had. And again, with like my one GoPro. And I mean, the results kind of speak for itself as far as the quality you got in the videos. Now we had a lot of fun with it and uh, we did some stuff, but when you're a one man camera crew riding with a group of guys, sometimes it can be a little bit, you know, kind of awkward because it does kind of take you away from the ride that you're in in the moment. Yeah, understand. But uh, now we've got two cameramen. Uh, right. Trevor got himself, you can see this is being filmed on, uh, I upgraded my camera, I'm on a GoPro Hero 8 Black now, yeah. which uh, I gotta tell you the quality difference with the stabilization is night and day compared to the old setup I have. Yeah. And uh, now we've got two cameras yeah, running. Okay. We each got GoPro Hero 8s yep. on our bikes, so we'll get a, each. You get more of Ken too, which will be a nice. That's change. right. Because normally you guys have spent all my riding just looking at Rod, <laughs> and Rod is uh, Rod is still around. Um, he's kind of the old man of our group, but uh, he is uh, he's a great guy. Um, he's not so much on the techie side of things, so he's going to show up and just drink beer and ride for most of our rides. But uh, we've got some uh, some cool plans this year for some yep. trips that we want to do for the three of us, and uh, we're hoping over the summer to kind of start regularly producing some content for you guys. 
Yep. Uh, we've also rolled in, I uh, kind of picked up uh, the drone hobby a little bit. I got myself a, uh, a Maverick Air uh, drone that I am able to actually fit in my, uh, my riding pack pretty well. And uh, that really gives you a whole different perspective of riding, gets you an opportunity to get some cool shots. So I'm really hoping to integrate that into uh, the content and you'll see kind of either before or after this clip, uh, we'll try and roll in some footage and kind of give you guys a bit of a demo of uh, what we're all about. Yep. But uh, yeah, so we are, uh, we've got some big plans for this year. Uh, stay tuned, um, like and subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, there's that bell you got to hit for the notifications on our content. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, we're going to kind of earn you guys back as an audience. Yeah. We're going to start producing some regular content and uh, we're going to have some fun with it, right? Uh, we live in a beautiful part of the world. We're out here in BC, Canada. We have some great terrain, um, you know, all sorts of good country. And uh, I hope that you guys come along with us and, yeah. you know, have some fun with us while we, uh, we go about our riding. Yeah. So we're hoping to produce two videos a month right now. I think that's a weekly release. Yeah. So, I mean, that's another great reason to subscribe. We'll be getting that more out. And then, uh, yeah. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Subscribe. More, more to come. Yeah.